we the MPs who sit on the budget committee, the opposition MPs came with a, a different report. And <coughs> we're asking we're asking government because what we've, we've eventually passed is a pre um, COVID budget. In the budget, Oscar, you have uh, 219 billion for workshops and seminars, 219 billion. You have 100 billion for special meals, 160 travel abroad, about 120 travel inland, about 120 fuel, another 100 billion for oil and lubricants, and of course you have the big elephant, 3.5 trillion for classified. For me, the explanation, the moment you, you want the public to contribute 170 billion shillings for COVID, for health, and then the same public hears that in Parliament we are passing a budget that has 219 billion shillings for seminars and workshops. Um, Malcolm, I, I, I pray for you. Um, I, am, I am lucky, I am... <laughs> so, I don't know where the public will have the enthusiasm to make the contribution because of the way the government is behaving. The government is not behaving like we are a country in a crisis. They are behaving normal. I have seen the president uh, begging, uh, thanking even border borders who have contributed, which is a good gesture. And I asked myself, is it genuine or is it just a for sure? Um, why? Why would you think <clears throat> that? Why do I think it? Because you see, Oscar, if you have all the money that you, you require to do things, including optional ones like uh, seminars and, and, and this and that, and then you go out to fundraise money for your hospital bill. Uh, people who have met you in a bar drinking and uh, supplying of phone and everybody, they will be very reluctant to make a contribution to your hospital bill because of how you are conducting yourself. So if you are a government that wants the public sector to be donating, at least you must correspondingly improve on how you, 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 you conduct yourself. You must look like someone who is needy. Uh, there is no way people are going to contribute to someone who doesn't fit the description of, of, of a needy person. Uh, that's, that's a contradiction I see, and, and I don't want to discourage anyone. Please go ahead and make the contributions, but, but, but you're contributing to someone who is planning to have seminars and, budget and, 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 and workshops next financial year worth 219 billion we told them in parliament uh, if you, you brought a budget and prioritized the health we would understand and we're all contributing to even me i would want to go and make a contribution like i have made uh, i told you i bought an ambulance was forced on me by my constituents i'll never have bought one um because the needs are there uh, so the, the it's not that health doesn't need them, and they actually need more because the health facilities are like the best. We had massacre some time back, regional fire hospital. Everybody who came in with not very serious complication, but some complication had to be referred to another facility because they didn't have a, a scanner or something. And that's a regional fire hospital serving about nine districts. So, yes, the, the health sector needs the money. The question is, do we or don't we have it? If we have it, and it's going to do some of the things I've outlined, you know, the people, the names that I mentioned are very eminent people, you are highly respected, but you have work on your hands uh, to convince people to come and donate to uh, someone who, is, who can't go to hospital because he doesn't have money, but he's in a bar drinking and inviting everybody passing by, please come, kuem. So that, that's, that's, that's where we are with the, with the government. Uh, <clears throat> and, and, and as I said, please, I don't want to sound like I am discouraging people. Everybody come and make a contribution. Maybe these other battles of ours will go on after, after the crisis. I can only make an appeal to government uh, upon, upon in those meetings when you retreat. Please behave like someone who is in a crisis. The moment you behave normal, uh, I have told you, on, on, on a normal day, I wouldn't be distributing food. But when you have women and children making noise at your gate, my daughter, 10 years, came and said, but that the children are crying. 
even if I have a very strong heart, there is no way you're going to leave children to cry. They are behaving like people who are actually looking for what to eat. So, Ofono, please behave like someone who needs the money. Okay. The moment you behave like you don't need it, then donation becomes a show. Yeah. That I also want my name to be read by the president, uh, which, so let me go and make a contribution. Which, which is good. My, my, uh, as I was saying, my Russia Club is donating PPEs. PPE, I always struggle with this thing. Protection equipment? Personal protective Okay, and our donation is $65,000. And we are getting 20000 from the but district. Oscar, people are donating, and you are just threatening. No, we are, we are effecting. No, no, you first yeah. donate. So you don't uh, <laughs> issue a threat on <laughs> capital <laughs> government that you are donating. <laughs> We have procedure. Like no, but you see, there are procedures. That's why include Ura, the threat Ura to donate. The, Go and donate yeah. the money, then you'll come and tell us we have donated. No, no, we won't tell you anymore. The, the people will know that we have donated. Thank you. Um, yes. Uh, maybe we shall report to Patrick's committee so that we are, they read us out. At our <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Well, I want to agree with the Honorable Samuel that if we are appealing, if the government, the president is appealing to the private sector, to the public to contribute, the government and the government entities must act differently. Budget, give, pinpoint the very serious priorities, areas of need, and we conduct ourselves properly. At the end of the day, account along the way. We don't wait until COVID is over and then we see the accounting. To that extent, I would have expected the same to say they, members of parliament, should also behave properly. Because if you are appealing for people to pay the little they have, and here you are giving your, yourselves uh, 20 million and you are saying it is too little, it is too little, you don't look good. So go back to members of parliament and say we should also do differently. It is not just it. But also remember, <laughs> Honorable Semiju, that even when we are in need, there are certain things that we must have. You have mentioned here classified. You, and Patrick said it here. This COVID is no longer just a health issue. It is a security issue. He didn't it say is, it is it a security issue. It is a national economic issue. It is a national economic issue and many other things. Let me just give you an example. Uganda has 53 gazetted border points, land border points. As we speak now, immigration is only in about 20 of them. Minister of Health, even for purposes of screening people who go through, Minister of Health can only deploy staff at 11 of them. Why, is, why isn't the Minister of Health capable? Because of the issues Patrick said, they don't have the logistics that are required. In the most extreme busy border point, which is Maraba, we have there 800 trucks coming in and going out. 800 coming in, 800 going out every 24 hours. From the Ministry of Health, they need at least 22 people to extract samples from people. Because to extract a sample takes about 8 minutes to 10. And leave alone the other people who are doing a clerical work, uh, checking temperature and so on and so forth. So it means if you are going to check those truck drivers, two of them, two, two people in a truck, in 24 hours, you need 44 people working 24-7. Now, the Minister of Health cannot deploy those because they don't have the gears, they don't have the, they don't have the equipment, they don't have the allowances, the money to, pull, to, 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 to employ additional staff. So that's why it is necessary to understand that even when uh, you, you say you, you have these things, there are things that you cannot do without. You need village COVID surveillance teams on the border in the border villages that are active, that know what to do. You must sensitize them. So perhaps those, those workshops you, think, you talk about, you need them. You need some of them. Because I know someone chairman and this committee, we don't just wake up and prevent people. They must have some level of sensitization. There are other national security issues. Your neighbors have not all of a sudden become good neighbors. <clears throat> you are not going to prevent people who are running from South Sudan because of different things. So and therefore, you need some of the classified uh, budget to, 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 to ramp up. To, 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 ramp, to ramp up your responsible mechanism. And yes, Oscar, I think maybe this fund is actually called the National Response Fund. 
for what purpose? First of all, for emergency issues. And we think that the emergency, emergency issues will be health and medical, food and other logistics. From what has, now, what has now transpired, we have got some equipment that will outlive emergency responses. For example, the vehicles. And yesterday, the president, while flagging off the 45, saying some of these vehicles should eventually be converted into the national response logistical hub. So that each time we have a, 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 an emergency, we have at least basic vehicles that we are able to, to, to deploy. 1,400 thereabouts. If you have 10 per district, they are going to be yeah, going to be to I don't know. We, we can, Parliament, we can, more than enough. Yeah, Parliament can debate that eventually and say maybe the government will not need new vehicles, if you think so, if you think that uh, you have enough. But that is then the purpose. Now, the the the, the, account, the, the, the fundraising. The fundraising